Shouting down one another is not going to achieve the business of the day. And it is not going to be the style when the speaker is on the chair. I will now call I will now call Senator No, no. I'm following some certain order, not what the House is uh, shouting. So, Senator Eddie, you are next on the order list. You have your few minutes. Not but. Do the, do the debate. You have the floor. Ma Ma Madam Speaker, this house is becoming ungovernable. And uh, I, th I think it's very important, Madam Speaker, that boss, you're not going to tell me what to do. Uh, you, uh, you are not, uh, I, will, I will shout at you, you're not going to tell me what to do in this house. I did not come here with your permission. Yes, but then you're not a chair, don't shout here. You don't, you don't Honorable have a senators, Madam Honorable Speaker, senators. Madam Speaker, protect me, Madam Speaker. I have you pleaded several times. Are shouting times. in the house all the time. Honorable Senators, I have pleaded several times that we maintain order in the House. The Speaker will now take action against any Senator found to be out of order. Ma, ma, we, Madam so, maintain the call. Yes, Madam Let's Speaker. do the debate. I agree with you, Madam Speaker. And, and Madam Speaker, before I, before I prosecute my thoughts on this matter, Madam Speaker, I think that the frustration that is coming in this House over and over is the simple issue of not implementing the rules of this house, Madam Speaker. If an honorable member in this house can decide to call a name of anybody, who there is no a substantive motion to be discussed in this house, the way we have seen the Senator of Kiambu discussing Honorable Raila Molo Dinga without a substantive motion in this house, Madam Speaker, what are we doing? In, 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 in every single bit of discussion of this house, Madam Speaker, help us enforce the laws of this house. Because there's no way you can allow uh, Senator uh, Tangwa to talk about an individual who is not here at all. Because if this happens, if this happens, is it, do you want to pour on me? Because uh, <laughs> if, if this keeps on happening, Madam Speaker, we will have a problem. But that said, Madam Speaker, that said, Madam Speaker, we are seeing in this country, we going back to the dark days of Kanu. And this is because, Madam Speaker, the use of force and unwarranted force by the police in this country that we saw in the demonstration does not stop with anybody but the president of this country. Because, Madam Speaker, don't shout, don't be a heckler one. Madam, Madam, Madam Speaker, it's very critical that you note the following. You know, there are people in government today, Madam Speaker, whose cases were withdrawn in, I, in IECC. And those cases that were withdrawn were not acquittal. If we start using the police against people who are simply demonstrating, Madam Speaker, we have seen in countries like the U.S., where people even demonstrate outside state house. People demonstrate outside parliament. Tango was talking here about some of us waiting for Raila Molo Dinga to come and demonstrate. Madam Speaker, I personally left this place on the same day and started walking to KICC. Raila Molo Dinga was not there, and I was tear gassed. Tear gassed carries I was thrown in my, uh, on, on, my, on my own car. Madam Speaker, if we don't stop the police brutality that is meted by the Ruto regime in this country, this country will go back to the Kanu days. Watch a shout, Manda. Where do you have people at Tiagas? Don't don't shout here. Don't just don't. Ah, uh, good senators, honourable senators. But once but, again, this, this, is what I, this is what I say. People keep on shouting here against your own. Honourable people. senators. I am a senator I and I'm supposed to be heard in honorable silence. Honorable senators. Gloria is shouting. Uh, this hooligan Eddie, here is shouting. Eddie Another when hooligan there is shouting. Eddie when, Eddie, when I'm addressing the house, you ought to listen, not continue shouting. Resume your seat. Resume your seat, Eddie. Resume your seat, Eddie. Resume your seat, Eddie. 
Eddie, if I have to, Senator Eddie, if I have to warn you again, I will rule you out of order and you might have to exit. Senator Essie. Senator Essie. Speaker. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I also want to be heard in total silence. Madam Speaker, I want to be heard in total silence. Order, order, Senators. Sen Honorable Senators, resume your seats. Resume your seats. Senator Eddy. Senator Eddy, while on your feet, I heard you use the word hooligans. Senator Eddy, resume your seat, Senator Mazzaio. Senator Mazzaio, the speaker is intelligent enough to understand the meaning of some of these English words you are throwing around in this house. I will request the senators not to use insults within the precincts of this building against any senator. That is a firm directive until we finish the debate today. Resume your seat, Senator Medu. Resume your seat, Senator. All the senators, resume your seats. All the senators, resume. Senator Essie, resume your seat. All the senators. Senator, senators, this is your house to make or to break. The trend we are taking right now does not look good at all. It is looking bad. And those who are shouting, it could actually be looking worse on those who are shouting when I'm addressing the house. I think we ought to have respect for the chair and respect for the house. When I call Senator Essie to address the House, I will request silence and no shouting or trading of words across when a Senator is on her feet, because it then means you don't respect the House or the orders or the debater, the person who is debating. Can we have, I am giving directive once again, and finally, before I finally take action against defying Senators, Senator 